Uh, painting is in progress, only two days in. Welcome to Asher and Gad channel, making Africa home again, one family at a time. So I'm on site alone today, just to give you a, a site update to see how, how we're getting along. Um, it's Hamatan season now in Ghana, as you can see behind me, uh, the clouds are a little bit gray, but it's still warm, still about 32, 33 degrees, still warm. But uh, what do I have for you today? Um, let's have a, an update on the curbs. Uh, and the land filling see what the next steps are and also we'll go inside and see how the painting is coming along and it's really looking nice it's only, we're only about two days in two or three days in so we've still got about a week and a half to go but it's looking good so let's go and have a look come with me so first off guys let's uh, let's look at these curbs so the chap has now finished um He's finished all 130, 135 curbs, I believe, all done. He used about 20, 27 bags of cement. So the, the estimate was a good estimate in that regard. Uh, what happens next? Let's talk through the process. So obviously the land is, is filled. So what's going to happen now? We are going to take the final level the final finish level is what we're going to take now the final level all right we know we're sloping towards the back so we're going to take the final level from the front of the house we're going to take the final level to come towards the back of the house once we decide the final level then it's time for compacting um we need to hire a compactor now i haven't i don't know the cost yet but i'm told it's about five or six hundred cities for a day so we're going to hire a compactor who's going to come along and compact the entire compound right down to the level that we need compact all of it all right once it's finished compacting we have left half a trip of laterite outside the front fence wall um and that the purpose of that really is to um after you finish compacting you, you may get some dips here and there so you you backfill with that spare that spare laterite so that's what we're going to do there all right um now guys something just popped into my head nothing to do with the filling laterite or the um the painting but i still want to to tell you guys about it so you can be be, be aware yourselves but before we do that uh so the the curbs here those curbs as you all know if you've been following our channel that they're going to divide the unoccupied plot all right from where we live we, we need about 31 of them to go from the back fence wall to the security gate and then behind in the alleyway so about 31 of them which is fine so six cities six cities to lay each curb so that will give us our total cost for the laying of those curbs uh, whatever that that value is value on your screen so it's not not too bad now let me tell you something about the fence wall let's go to the back and um we'll see what is guys as, as you've noticed uh, i'm fil filming myself today so uh you're not gonna see me probably until the end but uh that's all good watch my step right so as we head towards the back all right guys now have a look at this fence wall that we have between us and our neighbor on the left now i'll show you it here here we are it's, it's quite a high fence wall and uh, now for those of you who do not know uh, what is construction law uh, a fence wall is, is 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 in construction law a party wall what does that mean a party wall means it, it's a wall it's a mutual asset between two parties as in me and my neighbor okay so the fence wall itself doesn't really belong to any one individual it, it's a shared ownership now when we bought the land, uh, the neighbor to my, 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 my left had already built, let's say, you know, about three block levels, three or four block levels. OK, so, uh, you know, we came along and we we added to those blocks, obviously, to, to, to make the wall as high as we needed it to be. Uh, however, what happened was there was a little bit of uh, error on the, the, the part of my worker, workers, if you like, because 
obviously, you know, what should have happened is that they should have communicated to the neighbor to say, we, we want the fence wall to be this high because of the water tanks we have at the back. You know, we need it to be a certain height. All right, let me just come back again. Okay, my workers really should have communicated that we needed the fence wall to be a certain height because of the water tanks so that you'd have that sort of, let's say, respect or agreement before doing it, you know. There's no, there's no issues legally, but that, that would have been the right cause of action. Unfortunately, that, that didn't happen. The workers just went ahead and, you know, built the fence wall to the height that they thought was appropriate. And then, you know, the owner next door found out and she, she raised hell. She, you know, not in this country, but she, she got on the phone and was screaming and shouting all sorts of abusive language, which was kind of a bit over the top, really, really over the top. But uh, we had to go and see her representative and, you know, all, you know, all the hoo-ha screaming over the phone. But at the end of the day, we managed to settle it. Okay, we, obviously we had to apologize because, you know, it was my workers' fault, but we settled it and everything was, was agreed. So that's just a lesson really, guys. You know, if the fence wall is a mutual asset. So if somebody has built it first, they don't own it. You know, one thing they was, which they were saying, which was complete rubbish, is that, oh, it's my fence wall. No, it's not your fence wall. It's a party wall. It's a shared uh, mutual asset. It's not your fence wall, right, to start with. Yes, we should have told you our intentions. That was our, that was our error. But it's a shared asset. So to avoid that, guys, when you're buying a plot of land, if the fence wall is already there and you want to make it higher or whatever, no issue. Just, to, just have, a, have a conversation, engage to make things nice and simple. All right, so now let's go inside. Let's see what's happening with the painting. Ooh, so here we have it, guys. Here we have it. The painting is in process. The sandpaper is in process. Okay, let me, let me close this door so you can see it. Probably a bit better. Maybe not, actually, let's leave it open. Um, so, you may think that the wall is white, but the wall is not white. It's a, it's a white with a grey undertone. But the living room area, just that bit there, that is white. If, if you look, you can, see the, you, can, you can see the difference. I haven't put all the light on. Let me put some more light on to see if it helps. Uh, let's see now, let's see now. Uh, let's see if I can get this, this light to come on, uh, our chandelier is on, that one is on, right, so let's have a look, let me see if I can, let's get this door open, to give you guys a bit of a better view of things, okay, all right, so, so, oops, just hurt myself there, so, right, now, so that you can see the difference here, the living room itself is white, okay, but the other wall is the, is the white with the gray undertone, okay? Only the living room itself is pure white. Everywhere else is the white with the gray undertone, which we really like, okay? So, you know, painting is in progress, only two days in, but it's, it's, it's going well. This is the, um, this is the, um, the, um, the paint I was talking about, uh, the emotion, uh, emotion washable, paint uh, from Dulux, you get it from Coral in Accra, Tudu, uh, luxurious silk, it's about 817 cities for a 20 litre bucket. Um, now we preferred mixed colours, they're, they're more expensive but they look nicer compared to your standard colours. If you, if you just want standard colours, standard green, standard yellow, standard brown, standard cream, whatever, then you can get it cheaper. You can go to a place like uh, Coral in Hacho, Ultra. I think I called Ultra Star Services, and a 20 liter bucket there is about 610 cities. So that's cheaper because it's almost like it's like a primary color. Whereas we've gone for the mixed colors, the secondary and tertiary colors, which tend to be nicer. Obviously, a bit more expensive, but you know, there you are. There, there you go. Okay, let's show you the um, the paint for the ceiling. So the paint for the ceiling that came from Shield. Oh, let me show you right now. I think. That's also a 20 litre bucket. I think I, I think I talked about this in another video. Let me zoom in, zoom in for you. It's 20, 20 litre brilliant white that goes on the ceiling. Okay, and if you haven't watched the video where I talked about this and the price, just click above my head or to the right of my head and you can watch that video for yourself. Uh, this bucket, uh, I can't remember the price. Uh, price on your screen. 
yeah price on your screen for a 20 liter shield brilliant white for the ceiling now let's note let's have a look We've got some good good painters doing this work uh, let's see if they're doing the right thing there we go they absolutely are so you can see clearly that we have all our light switches ac switches and everything have masking tape all around okay masking tape all around to protect our chrome shiny chrome edges of the of the um the accessory if not you get paint all over it okay now obviously you can choose to do the masking tape or you can choose you can choose to remove the fascia i was going to remove the fascia but I, I just didn't get here in time and the guy started the work so fine not really bothered if they've, they've done what they're supposed to do put the masking tape on happy days so remember to remember to do that always so uh, i think they're going to take another sort of week and a half before they completely finish okay the the pillars just to remind you the pillars will be a darker gray okay they will be a darker gray you can't really see it yet but once it's done hopefully you you'll see that that'll be a darker gray let's go into um one of the rooms which i think has had two two coats already so you get two coats on the wall and you get two coats on the ceiling uh, the lighting isn't finished in here so you're not really going to appreciate the color but it's, it's still that lovely, that lovely off-white, uh, sort of white with a grey undertone. And, with the, and then the, obviously the white ceiling, which is the P.O.P. Uh, don't forget the process of, of painting. As I said in another video, the process of the painting, you know, is, you know, you sandpaper, you apply the injury, skimming, then the paint. Okay, you may still sign people in between just to make sure, you know, everything's as smooth as possible. All right, but um, sometimes some people apply a primer. Okay, but that depends on how effective your Andre and skimming is. All right, so this is the living room. The living room, we've, we've gone for pure white, just in the living room area, pure white. Everywhere else will be that off, off, white, off white color. You can probably appreciate the difference if you zoom in yourself on the video so we've got the guys in here they are uh, they've uh, they finished sandpapering this wall because it was a little bit rough and now they are they are painting away painting away with that with the, our chosen color all right i think guys in another video in another video i talked about the air conditioning okay i talked about the air conditioning let's show you one up here and we're not going to install all the air condition on day one we're only going to install what we need to move in okay now there are two options you can push the cables in push the pipe in and then put a, a, a local bond box uh, around it screw it in and then paint it the same color or simply put you can just put a picture frame okay push the cables push push the pipes in just put a picture frame up there to to hide all that messy sort of um wall until the, you're ready to install the air conditioning and um you know i'm getting different recommendations when it comes to air conditioning. I know Daikin is, is, is a good manufacturer. I need to look into them. They're probably, probably quite expensive. I need to look, in, look into the pros and cons, but I'm getting a lot of people, uh, you know, a lot of uh, AC installers telling me in terms of performance, but also in terms of availability of parts. Availability of parts is very important when you're buying equipment. Are the parts available in Ghana? You know, I know people who've, you know, come to Ghana with very expensive cars, but yet, the parts are not available or very expensive to get and then you, you find after a while that you have to abandon the car so that's 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 a nonsense so the availability of parts is very important you know a lot of ac guys are telling me look at look at uh, media or look at samson so i need to keep my options open uh, when it comes to the air conditioning and make the right choice all right um oh, chandelier is looking pretty good um so yeah that's that's an update on the painting it's all, it's all going well, and um, give it another week and a half. It should be done. Okay, yeah, guys, so that's an update on the painting. Um, what can I say? One thing is, um, whilst they're painting, there's other works that I would like to get done, but I, I, I want to wait until the painting is finished, just to make sure you know people don't rub themselves on wet walls and, and, and the guys have to repaint or, or, or whatever, that, whatever the case may be. I want to make sure all the painting is finished, and then other people can come in the electrician has a little bit of final work to do like you know the circuit chart and a couple of other accessories he needs to to put in uh, there's a little bit of work to be done on the roof 
and then we, we go from there really obviously the compound as we know awesome guys well thanks for watching as, as usual please like share subscribe hit that notification button so you always be aware when Asher and Gad upload a new and educational video for your viewing pleasure all right well I'll say KMSC on behalf of Crystal because she's not here now guys see you next time